Hello, if you're watching this, you're probably curious about how to change your camera's brightness. I'll show you how to do that in just a few moments. To begin, we gotta get our camera set up. To get your camera ready, you can either go down to where it says work camera and click this arrow, and then go to change scene camera and press new camera if there isn't already one here, which will create a new camera. As you can see, it says camera two. Or you can go over here to the right and press create new animation set or create animation set for new camera. That will create a camera in the little box over here. And if you, like you see right here, have one created or a couple, as I have also camera one here, you can right click, go to create animation set for existing elements, and then you'll see these two cameras. If you click on one or double click and then click OK, it'll pop it up here just like it did for camera three. Now that I have my camera ready, I'll have it selected to make sure it's on my screen. Uh, I like to drag it. You can also click this little button and change the scene camera by here. But for my case, I like to drag it over to just make it simpler. To change the brightness of the camera, as you can see, it's not that bright, but if I wanted the map to be darker, I would take where it says tone map scale and drag it to the left. Dragging it to the right will create it, cause it to become brighter, as you can see, and then dragging to the left causes it to be darker. If I wanted the map lighting to be pitch black, I would drag it all the way to the left, and you can, as you can see, you can't see anything. It's only bright here because I have the work camera on. It has not been affected by camera one yet. Um, if your computer is just like mine and it's bad, you'll see this white line going across the screen diagonally on your camera. This is due to the computer not having the proper graphics card, even if the computer does. Since SFM is so old, it hasn't been updated to recognize more modern computers that might have even better graphics cards than what SFM itself needs. So to get rid of this, if you have a bad computer like mine, you can go over here where it says bloom scale, and then you can drag that to the left. That will get rid of that white line and you won't have to deal with it for the rest of your animation. Now back to the brightness. Whenever you drag tone map scale, it changes every single light in the, in the animation you're working on. So if I have, let's say I create a light right here by right clicking and creating new animation set for a light. If I have a light right on spy going right here and I make the light, let's say blue for this instance. As you can see, it's, it's pretty bright as is the entire map. But if I wanted the whole map to be darker and the blue light on spy, what I'll do, I'll drag tone map scale to the left and then that will darken the entire thing as you can see going to the left will darken it and as you can see the light also gets affected by it the one i created so if you wanted to have a dark setting but you wanted to make the lighting a little more realistic and a little more easier to work with you would drag tone map scale to the left and as you can see the lights really darkened here the lights really darkened here so i can either drag up the intensity as you can see it didn't do much or you can go over to where it says constant at two attenuation or linear attenuation and then you can drag either one to the right for constant it immediately makes it as bright as it can be with linear it gives you more control you don't have much space to go on the bar but the further right you go i believe the brighter and more concentrated it becomes quadratic is like the intensity bar up here it very gradually increases or decreases the intensity. But let's say I wanted to drag my linear at two intention up, I'd drink it, drag it to the right, and then I would go up to my intensity. And as you can see, that makes it even brighter compared to what it was just a minute ago. So every time you're working with a really dark space and you're noticing that your lights are really weak, you can always go down here and mess with these two bars. They're the ones that affect the intensity and the concentration concentration of the light. Other than that, that's essentially it when it comes to tone map scale. It's just simply the brightness of all the lights in the map. That will be all for this video. My next one will probably be over lighting itself and how to fix some issues you might find around them, common issues that are very easy to fix but can be a little confusing at first. Uh, if you have any other suggestions or questions, you can always leave a comment in the comment section. Other than that, have a great day and God bless.